Hey everybody, hi, welcome. Thank you for being here. If you are returning, I so appreciate you. Thank you for supporting my channel. If you are new, I'm Laura. Wyatt is the white puppy dog. Zena is the brown puppy dog. We do subscription box unboxings, shopping hauls, after the day, and so much more. And we would love for you to hit that subscribe button and hang out with us and support my channel. Today, I have a Stitch Fix for you. This is supposed to be a Lux box, so we will see what happened. I asked them to ignore all my preferences, well, my pricing preferences anyway, stick to my style preferences, um, and send me a Lux box so, so I could check it out and see what that was all about. If you are new to Stitch Fix, it is a style subscription box. They send you five items based on your preferences, so you fill out a profile, $20 styling fee. If you keep all five, you get a 25% discount. They do have a the style game where you can give thumbs up or thumbs down, so the algorithm gets to know what you like. And then I think that pretty much your preferences are narrowed down for your stylist who makes final picks and puts them in, you know, gets them in your box to be sent to you. A Lux box is where you say, I don't care so much about prices and you can send me more expensive items. I've never done that. I've always pretty much said to keep the prices kind of on the lower side, um, but I decided I would try the Lux box. Now, when I got my preview, which is something new that they have tried, there were no Lux items in it. There was one cashmere sweater, which was pricey that I told them to go ahead and leave in. But that was it. There was nothing else that was Lux left that was in my box. So I didn't put anything else in my box and told them, asked them where the Lux items were. And we're going to see what happened. All right, let's do this. You um, always get a bag to try anything you don't love and don't want to keep. You get notes from your stylist and ideas on how to wear items, as well as a pricing sheet, which we'll go over. And let's do the bundle. Let's see this. I also looks like I have shoes. Stitch Fix does send shoes. All right, so this looks interesting. I see a huge cozy here. This looks interesting. All right. You can also buy directly from Stitch Fix now. You don't have to do the boxes. Like if you see things you love, you could just buy it, but there's no discount that I'm aware of. So the first item um, that is showing on the top was the item I left in. This is by 41 Hawthorne, and this is a cashmere sweater. I love the color of it, color, so I left it in. I love this jewel tone. Um, it's a little V-neck. I thought it was really pretty. That's the first item. Next up, what is this? All right, this looks like a dress by Hill House. Hill House, and this looks like a summer dress. <laughs> oh, it's a it's longer though, but it's like a summer smocked dress. That's interesting. Okay. I could not wear this now. It's like our high. We had a really nice day yesterday. It was like in the 60s, but we're in the, back in the 40s now where we will remain um, and it could snow at any moment. <laughs> yeah, I said snow. All right. Then it looks like I have a pair of joggers by Bella Doll. These feel really nice, really, really nice fabrication to them. They are tensile, that's why, tensile, 60% um, tensile, 38% cotton, 2% spandex, that's why they feel so nice. Pockets there in the front, they are joggers, there's pockets in the back as well. Wyatt just saw his ball in here, so I'm hoping he doesn't start making noise. This last item that is cozy, where's the top of this? All right, here it is, is by Free People Movement. There it unzips there at the top. This is, <laughs> this is so nice. Um, very, very cozy, soft. I was expecting, I was expecting 
pricey, pricey items. I wouldn't have expected free people in Lux. You guys tell me if I'm wrong. And probably I wouldn't have expected 41 Hawthorne in Lux either, but that one I did tell them to leave in. All right, then I do have a pair of shoes. Let's see what these are. These are Vince Camuto. Those are pretty. In this snake print, and they have the double um, cutouts here, zipper in the back, which with this, you probably don't even need to unzip that. And they are basically just gray, black, and an off-white. And why it's going to start making noises now with this ball. <laughs> oh, he's too funny. And that's all the items. So I'm going to tell you pricing right now because we already already know I asked for locks, which is supposed to be expensive items. So let's see how expensive they are. And then I'll get right to the try-on. So the Magnolia Grace Cashmere V-neck, $98. The Vince Camuto uh, footwear. This was 99. These are 99. And the Bella doll Pacey jogger pant. These are 128. The free people movement pullover 98. And then this dress that I'm confused about just because of where I live. Um, 125. So this is significantly more expensive than a box I would typically get would be. $548, 25% off everything, $137 for a total $411. So now we need to see if I fall in love with anything. I'll be right back. First up, I had to try on this dress. So I read my stylist notes and she said that the nap dresses are really in right now. So she wanted to send me this nap dress. And she said to pair it with booties. These are the ones I had in the room. I might probably pick something a little bit more dressy and pointy toe, but she said to pair it with booties and a cardigan for a holiday look. So she sent that with this with that in mind. So this is a really pretty fabric. The green would be pretty for the holidays. Um, the shoulder detail and the square neck on this, I'm absolutely loving. I think it is very, very pretty. Um, it does have like the tiered look with the stitching here going down um, the, the skirt of this dress and the length isn't too bad it's more midi length right than this midi than maxi it's not the whole way to the ground right this is a it is a very pretty dress this one as i said was 125 dollars so it would be pretty with a cardigan they paired it in the picture with a longer cardigan i don't know i think i must like i would want a shorter one or at least something that maybe cinches in at the waist this has some fantastic um, details to it, though. So this whole smocking on the bodice, the pretty little sleeve detail, the square neck. And then so much movement, lots of room here at the bottom. You can see the back has the square as well. I have to figure out what booties would work best with this. Maybe a pointed toe might be better. But it's a very pretty dress. So let me know what you think. Next up, I have the 41 Hawthorne and Cashmere sweater on. The joggers by, these were by um, Bella Doll. And then the Vince Camuto booties. So this makes for a great outfit and probably is something that I would definitely wear. I have to tell you, these joggers are really comfortable. They feel so nice on. They have the pockets in the front, drawstring waist, pockets in the back. And they look nice with the cashmere sweater. So this is a, a really nice elevated look, but you're very casual. The booties are really nice. I tend to not like those that come up high on the ankle like this because every time you do this I feel like you're you're hitting your ankle and that hurts <laughs> like that kind of hurts maybe it would break in eventually but um, I tend to like and I think I've talked about this before but I tend to like shoes that are a bit lower um, on the ankle come a little bit lower on the foot but this pattern is fabulous I do really like it um, I like this heel I like everything else about them except for how high they come up on the ankle now they do look nice 
just if I'm, you know, not bending my foot, they look really nice with the joggers and this outfit in general makes for a great pairing, which is what my stylist had said. Here's a closer look. Love the concentrated um, tone, gem tone of this sweater. So, so pretty. Here's the pants. I like all three. I like all three of these. I just probably won't keep the pants. We're going to throw on the last item, which is the Free People Pullover. This one is called the Nantucket Fleece Pullover. All right, so this one is definitely a warm one. This feels like a ski slope type warm and cozy, or at least ski lodge, right? Um, it's got the all fleecy, um, comfy, cozy vibes to it. It also has a lot of room to it. Um, so lots of room here. Has the kangaroo pockets in the front. And then it also has these little pulls here so you could tighten this bottom around your waist if you wanted to so no cold air would get up in there. So you can tighten that right up, which I like. That's a nice extra feature. And then of course this comes the whole way up to your neck if you wanted it to. You could always tuck in your nose if you're cold. Otherwise, you could just bring it up as far as you like. It's comfortable or leave it open as much as you like. It has this striping detail at the elbow and going up the shoulder. What do you think of this one? And that's all my pieces. That's a wrap on my stitch fix and I already went over pricing with you. $411 if I wanted to keep all five items. Um, I can't see me pulling for this dress, but I thought it was really, really pretty on. I mean, this was a, this surprised me because I liked it way more than I had expected to like it. It's gorgeous. Um, I do love the joggers. I think the joggers are fabulous. Um, so these are super fun. If I was going to splurge on something in this particular box, I think that it, if it weren't Christmas time, I might be willing to buy like the three pieces here, like this cozy pullover, the cashmere sweater, and the joggers. Um, the shoes I don't think I would keep because as I said, they're gonna bother me at the ankle every time I bend my ankle, which you do when you're going up steps or going down steps, there's always this movement, and this will just be very uncomfortable, and I'm pretty sure I'll have red marks on my ankle um, by the end of the first day. So I'm thinking I'm not gonna keep the shoes. So that just takes me down to these three pieces, which means I would not get a discount, which is always uh, you know, a bummer if you like any of the other items. Um, narrowing it down to, I like these three, narrowing it down to two, I probably like the sweater and the joggers the best, but considering it's Christmas time and I'm not getting a discount, I might try to pick one item. Um, that's the tough part. So I hope you enjoyed this Lux box because I wanted to let you all see what you might get if you requested a Lux box because I was curious. I had no idea. So now I know. Um, not as bad as, expect, as I was expecting because I was seeing they were going to be uber expensive. So I'm glad to see um, pieces like free people in here and items around the $100 mark and not going straight up to uber expensive designer and them sending me like the $250 jeans, for example. So Really happy about that. I'm glad that they consider the locks to be right around the $100 mark and above. Please share your favorite items. So do you think there's a keeper in here and what would it be? I will list all these items down below in case you want to request any of them from your stylist. I'll put my link to Stitch Fix down below as well in case you want to give this subscription a try. If you use my link, you'll get $25 towards your first box. Thanks for spending time with me today. Please hit that like if you enjoyed this and you'd like to see more. Would love you here for long haul. Hit that subscribe if you have already. I so appreciate you. Thank you so much. Till next time. Bye, everybody.